tutorial on propane distribution, regulation, vaporization, and how it works in the engine. One of the important things you have to know is propane is very, very cold, but it boils at negative 44 degrees. So what we do to use it is we put it under pressure in a tank. So here I've outlined some tanks we use. We have the horizontal vapor that only sucks vapor out. We have the horizontal liquid that pours the liquid out. Here we have the vertical vapor that only allows the vapor out. One of the things you have to remember is the only thing you can put into your engine is the vaporized fuel. So out of all these distributions, I'm going to start, we're just going to send the vapor into the regulator. If you have a vaporizer, you can use liquid and the liquid will go in the vaporizer, turn the vapor and head to your engine. If you have the vertical vapor, only vapor comes out, heads into your regulator and vapor into your engine. This is a standard T60 regulator. People call it a, a vaporizer, but it's really not. You can kind of turn it into one by running hot water through it from your radiator. As you run hot water through it, the liquid LP will warm up, turn to vapor, and hit your engine. But what you really want with liquid is what's called a vaporizer. So be sure and use the right regulator for the right system. So we're turning it into vapor, getting into the vaporizer or regulator, leaving it going as vapor into the engine and burning head and out. So remember to always vaporize your LP, don't run liquid into your engine. This has been Mechanic Dan for Runyon Surface Press. Thank you.